this was actually the first thing I ever built and it might still be the best. Uh, so up here was the year and I could keep track of uh, all my work. I was a independent contractor who did software training um, on some, some software for the users. And uh, I could track my months. I just click here and it's which, which month. Um, I have an expense here. I even kept track of like my receipts <laughs> inside of there. I can't believe they're still all there. Uh, so I could upload those. If I want to make a new expense, I click this plus button. This thing slides up, drop in all this stuff. Got these kinds of things here. Pick my category, pick the account, um, upload the receipt, drop in that kind of stuff. Choose a client that I could bill to. Um, yeah, slide those things in and out over here. I had mileage to keep track of all my miles driven. Uh, which car it was that I drove. I could edit this r one record, pops up. Can change that stuff and get rid of it. Oh, you see there. So it was like, hey, how many miles did you drive? And then this deduction was calculated off of a, a database. Actually, the per diem was even cooler. So for the per diem, I pulled down um, all of the the government's per diem. And so then when I dropped a state in here, like Alabama, Birmingham, it would automatically know like if I had like three days, it doesn't, it doesn't show me here, but then um, when you'd pop it in up here, it would show you what the total deduction was that I could take. So like two days at 164 a day. Um, actually, I did that wrong, but still cool. Um, and then these expenses, I could look at all expenses for 2009. Uh, I could look for anything that said like fuel, or rental cars. All these things were sortable by the headers. Um, yeah, I dropped in income here. Uh, and this would have the invoice. No, oh, guess not. Um, and these are the invoices that I would send to people. And they would just get automatically generated for me and I could download Oh, actually, yeah, this little button will take whatever is in here and it'll download it as a, a base 64 CSV, which is really cool. Um, you know, and then I had this kind of stuff, all of the, uh, oh, this was cool, the billing. So here I could add a, uh, add a client here. Whoop, this would pop up. Um, so I can be like, Josh, Josh, Josh at Josh.com. Add the client, and then it automatically comes over here to start adding a project. Nothing. And automatically over here to add a new billable item. Nothing. Rate $100 an hour. And uh, I could record time. And then uh, sometimes I had different tax rates for what was going on. Uh, anyway. Yeah. Super cool stuff. This whole, um, let's go find, there, my main client. Um, so this whole thing was, uh, so if I wanted to just kind of like, if I needed more room here, I could click and drag those, drag these. Now watch. Now notice this one with these really long names. I could slide this back and then it only chops off the middle. I always loved how Mac OS did that. That was tricky stuff for a brand new programmer. <laughs> um, and then this little button here, I'm gonna go to like mileage or per diem um, or expenses. Whenever I wanted to just uh, focus uh, on this side, then I could click this thing whoop, and it would just fill this whole thing up. Uh, oh, messed up my CSS up there. <laughs> um, but yeah, this was uh, this was really cool. It's got a million memory leaks. I was just looking at the code, and I can already spot all of them. But uh, it was still pretty pretty impressive for a brand new program. I'm 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 impressed anyway. I I put my blood, sweat, and tears into this thing, and this is this is how I learned to program. This was uh, this was my introduction to web development. Was trying to build an app like this, and I think it's kind of shaped, um, you know, everything about how I think about the web and what kinds of things 
uh, could be possible on the web.